Hey, it's Triple J here showing you BidBuddy version 5.1 training video here on how to configure and set up the apps system, the auction parts and pricing service. So BidBuddy apps is the auction parts and pricing service, and it's designed to share data between your fellow recyclers that you've approved. So let's go ahead and go right into our BidBuddy. Right here, you'll notice this is Dev Server 1. And this is my server here in Connecticut. So I'm gonna go into our settings tab and they'll see a new button here it says apps settings i'll go ahead and click on that and here we have our auction parts and pricing service settings it's very easy to set up the apps service you can do it all yourself without any interaction from our support team if you want to participate in the app system just check off the box right here it's that simple and this next tab you can see who can see my data and what they can see and this, the third tab is who can see my data and what they can see. And the last tab is how to add a new buddy. And that's what we're going to be doing right now. So if we want to add a new buddy, we need to find out their customer ID. Now, your cu customer ID is shown right here so you can tell your buddies what to do. So let's say I want to share my data with Mike. Okay. So I happen to know that Mike's customer ID is 1155 and his zip code is 80829, as he's told me. I will look it up. I can confirm that it's Mike Lambert in Colorado, 1155. I will confirm an ad. And it gives me a little message box. Be sure to switch to the Who Can See Me tab and grant permissions. By default, when you add them, they have no permissions. Okay. So if I go over, Mike Lambert has no permission to see my pricing or my parts or my inventory. So if I go ahead and double click on Mike Lambert, we can grant permissions to him now. Now there's three different things you can share in the apps system. Uh, the first being is pricing. So whenever your parser is run, whenever you download that fresh inventory from your inventory system, the standard prices, the price book information, is uploaded to the apps server. Okay. So if I want Mike to be able to see my standard prices, I can check that box. Okay. If I want him to uh, see the part status as the interchange numbers and bids I save, that's the next box. So every time you save a bid, it's automatically going to upload. Uh, those parts, the good parts, the bad parts, and the interchange numbers up to the app's service. So the next time my buddy goes to view that car, it'll automatically populate with those choices. This is the biggest time saver in the app's system. This is what apps was designed for. And the third one here is to allow this buddy to see my inventory, the parts saved in my inventory system. So along with that pricing information, when we download fresh inventory from our system, it's also going to upload the inventory, kind of like a little hotkey button built into the system so we don't have to uh, rely on locators to price parts or help price parts. So let's say I want to have Mike be allowed to see all of those. Okay, I'll save changes and now we can see that Mike has permission uh, to see my pricing, to see my parts, and to see the inventory I have in hand. Now, if we do a little magic here, we get a second program open here. You'll see it says Dev Server 2. And this is Mike's server right here. This is Mike's server. So I'm going to go into his apps settings. And we're going to see the who can see me, or I'm sorry, uh, who I can see. And now we can see Triple J Consulting. That was me. So I've got false is all across the board. So I'm not including any of his data. Okay. So even though he's shared it to me, I haven't said I want to use all three sources. Okay. So what I need to do down in here is to actually go in and say I want to use those things. And if I want to use all three of them, I can do that and say save. And now all of his data will be included inside my system. So it is it requires setup on both sides of the equation here, but it's very simple to do. And you can change things at the drop of a hat anytime you want to. Same with the who can see me. Right now, uh, he cannot see any of my data. And I'm going to go back over to my server right now. So this is back on Triple J server in Connecticut. Uh, the who can or who I can see, Mike Lambert has all falses, and I'm not able to check these. They're all disabled because Mike hasn't granted me those permissions. So once Mike grants those permissions on his program, I'll be able to check these off in mine. Uh, conversely, let's say if I wanted to disable for whatever reason, let's say I didn't want him to see my price book anymore, I can uncheck that, save changes. So now he can see my parts and my inventory, but not my pricing. Uh, I've already disabled his pricing. He can no longer see my standard price book information now. 
and I can go over to his system here. We're back in Dev Server 2. This is Mike's server. Uh, who I can see, and we'll notice that the pricing is set to false. And I can't check it because it's been disabled. So that's how you set up the apps system, the auction parts and pricing service. It's uh, very simple to set up and it's very valuable with the information that it provides. So I'm going to go ahead in here and I am going to do a quick little demo of, a of an auction here. I should have the auction that we used in yesterday's demo. Uh, if I can just remember which one it was, I think it was Copart. Okay, we've got this 98 Accord that we worked on our demo yesterday. We've got the QCI status of the person with the power of the app system behind them. And I'm going to go ahead and double click on this vehicle. And if we go right into this vehicle that we haven't bid on my system, we'll notice right away that all those part statuses came in as good. And if I hover over it, we'll see that it says this part was marked as good by apps customer 1155 Mike Lambert, Colorado. That gives you that built in status right into the system there for you. Same with interchange selection. If I hover over that, it should tell us the same. Actually, I think I'm going to go down with the interchange number. There we go. Interchange option was selected by Mike Lambert as well. So that data is right there at your fingertips. If I go in and to, um, let's go in this engine here, take a look and see if we got any data on it. We should. And the apps inventory, we can see here all my, my buddies that have parts in stock and what their condition and pricing are for it and my buddies what their standard prices they have stored in their system. So in case if they don't have an inventory in stock, that's the great part about the pricing, the standard pricing, is that you don't have to have the part in stock to have the price they had it uh, set at before as part of it there. So there's your quick look at the app system and we appreciate uh, everyone looking out at BidBuddy version 5.1. Please feel free to use the feedback tool built into the BidBuddy. If you go to the support tab, you can submit feedback right here it gives me, I guess, uh, directions right to me of uh, enhancement requests or any kind of bug reports that you might want to send in that are non-critical. And then, as always, you can always connect up to our support team. On that support tab, uh, just put your name and your problem in, hit connect, and you can be connected right up to our support team. And don't forget, our new support hours start tomorrow as well, starting at 7 a.m. Monday through Friday, and we'll have someone on call Saturdays from 8 to 2 p.m. We thank you, and we'll be talking to you later.